All right, welcome Android Guru fans. I'm your host, Droid Guru, and in this episode, this is advanced topics. So this one's gonna show you how to host custom robots. So let's say you have a robot um, and you wanna host it, but the protocol is not listed in the Droid Guru Android app. So this is gonna show you how you can add it and because remember you need an android a phone with the app to host your robot on the platform but let's suppose um you have a robot that's not listed or you created your own robot because you, you're a robot builder and you want to add it to the platform you have some custom thing all right so in order to add additional robots to the platform you have to modify something called the json protocols dot json file it's just a text file and it's in json format uh, so we'll show you how to modify that and that's all you have to do to add a custom robot with your own protocol to it all right so as a prerequisite before you can do this you need to understand the JSON format and that's just uh, um, a standard format for exchanging data over the web uh, but you, if you already know that that's the first prerequisite and the other thing is you need to know how to copy and download files to your Android device because you'll have to have that file on your Android device that's uh, connecting to the platform with the app. All right, and you need to know the communication protocol for your robot. So if you bought one and it's not listed on the Android app as a list of available robots, then you can either uh, go to the company manufacturer website and go to the developer portal. They may have the information there or you might have to contact the manufacturer directly. But if you created your own robot, you can create the you already know your protocol and you can create it however you want. All right, so those are the prerequisites. But before we get into the, the uh, demo, let's just explain what the demo is going to show you. So it's going to show you how you can uh, go to the uh, droidguru.net and click and download the JSON protocols.json text file. And then it's going to show you once you have that file, how to open it and modify it uh, using, using a text editor or some online tool. So once you do that, um, you can add that to your Android app and then it will appear in the list of robots and protocols and you're good to go to connect your custom robot to the platform. So let's get started with that demo right now. There are two ways we can, uh, this is the JSON protocols.json file. So it's just a text file. We've gone to the droidguru.net website and downloaded the file to our local computer. And I've opened it up and uh, you can open it up in your favorite text editor. All right, so once we look inside, we can see that it's in the JSON format. So it's so all it contains is one giant uh, JSON object. And remember, JSON objects are key value pairs. So it's a JSON object of JSON objects. So what we have here is the key part of the object inside represents the protocol for a particular robot. So you can see here we have mini controller, uh, we have the MDC 2668, so we have Lego NXT. All right, so that's the that's the key part. And then the value of these JSON objects is actually the communication protocol for that robot. So once we select which robot we want, we the uh, Android app looks at the uh, value part of the object to see what the communication protocol is for that robot. So as you look into it, you see that there's a few basic commands that are um, that you have to implement. Uh, you don't have to implement all of them, but the main ones are the joystick, which are the N, S, N, W, uh, N, E. So those are like the uh, regions of a compass, north, south, east, west, northwest, southwest, etc. So those are the positions of the compass. So when I move the joystick in those directions of the compass, uh, and then the stop, you have to implement stop. Uh, the value for that particular object is the uh, communication or the message that's going to be sent to the uh, robot. Uh, let's see. So, for example, here, and some of these uh, protocols are different for each robot. So, some is just a text um, value, and some it's actually like binary values represented by um, hexadecimal codes. Uh, so depending on your uh, robot that's how you may have to implement it so those are the main ones for driving and then we have additionals so for each button on the uh, pilot user interface there is um, a corresponding command so 
So you implement um, the commands that you want uh, for your particular robot. So you may not use all of them, you may use some of them, but the main ones you should implement are the joystick, which is the north, south, east, west, etc. Stop. Um, those are the main ones. And if you have additional ones, you can add those. So let's show here how we can add a, a new protocol or new robot to the uh, JSON protocols.json file. So once again, I'm just going to add another uh, JSON object inside. The first part is called custom robot. That's the key for this JSON object. And then the value is going to be another um, JSON object that implements the uh, commands that I want. So right now I'm implementing uh, N, which is North, S, South. Um, and then I, and you should always implement uh, stop at least. So that way, uh, once the robot's in motion, uh, you should have some way of stopping it. So when the user lets go of the joystick and it goes back to center, it sends the stop command. All right, so these are the keys. So now I'm gonna add the value. So the value is actually just going to be the um, the data that I want sent to the robot. So for example, this particular custom robot, if I send the uh, string or the text FWD, uh, that's going to correspond to moving forward. So when I get a north command from the joystick uh, and I've selected custom robot, it's going to send the forward FWD command to my robot. So whether the robot's connected by Bluetooth, uh, Wi-Fi, or USB, doesn't matter. It's going to be sent uh, as information to the robot. So in this case, my custom robot, I just implemented it as, uh, I'll just implement three of the commands. So we can also go to the website, uh, jointguru.net, in the help menu, and we'll list all the commands available. But the main ones are the joystick joystick commands north south east west uh, etc and stop and then if you want to activate um, something for the buttons uh, you can implement those commands too all right so another way we can do it is we can use instead of editing uh, locally on our text editor we can go to the website like this one here enter the URL where the JSON file is um, the droid guru JSON file and these online JSON editors allow you to do it uh, within your browser and then you can download it as a text file. All right, so I've entered the URL. So it's similar to the same thing we had before, except it's a little uh, structured differently. Uh, so here we can see the raw text on the uh, left side. And on the right, we see um, it has like a renderer that renders the actual JSON and um, shows us it's like an object tree. So once we click on the the main object we can see there's additional objects uh, there's the key value pairs inside so each, once again we have each robot um, that you'll see listed in the Android app when you list it from the um, protocols drop down uh, and then this tool uh, allows us to select one of the nodes in our JSON object and we can add additional um, objects so here I right click my mouse uh, so this right hand side is the editor uh, so I'm once again doing the same thing I uh, I showed you in the previous uh, demo editing a text file just I'm using this online tool so I've created a custom robot object and now I'm adding the additional objects that belong inside this custom robot object so once again I put the key and then the value so you just right click and add new object uh, on each node that you want to append something to. All right, so I do append uh, string. So string is the actual key. And then I add another string as far as this object. This will be the value. So once again, I'm implementing an N, which is north, which is when somebody pushes the joystick up. Uh, south is when the person selects a joystick it pushes it down and then stop that's when the joystick is released it centers the joystick and it should stop the robot so that should be the behavior so you want to stick to these standard uh, behaviors that a user is expecting when they use the uh, joint guru user interface so here's an example using the micro car uh, it has the joystick commands a b and c buttons um, 
and the pins. So pins are the additional like switches that you see on the user interface. And also there's, um, oh yeah, for the sensor one, like so if your robot sends back sensor data, uh, you'll have to implement uh, that command also. All right, so once we created it, we select the um, copy and then what we created on the uh, right hand side editor actually gets converted to the left hand side as the actual text. So it's just this right hand side lets you edit it in like an object format. All right, and then we download it. We can click the download button and it downloads it to our computer. And then once again, you just take that file and copy it over to your Android device. So now that you have it copied to your Android device and you have the Droid Guru app, um, you see the standard uh, built in JSON pro uh, text file. But if I click on the open file, I can go to the one that I copied to my yeah open map file. I pick my custom one. Now you can see it appears in the protocol drop down. So now this custom robot <coughs> can be used. Uh, and then if I click the reset protocols, it goes back to the default one. So when it, so if ever you want to go back to the default, just go reset protocols. Okay, Joy Guru fans, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Check out our other YouTube videos. And if you have a cool robot project you want us to know about, just let us know and we'll probably put it on our video.